Welcome to YouTubers, friends, and family from around the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew, daily events worldwide, and we are on June 19th, 2019. Welcome to another surviving day on this planet. We're going to start out here looking at our sun. Zero activity. Zero energy. Just a little bit of action incoming. Plasma filament. Top left side there. But this is a very quiet sun, folks. And NASA has now confirmed that we are dipping into a long solar minimum. That's right, NASA has admitted to that. So stay aware and prepared, folks. We are on the verge of a grand solar minimum. And it's about to get hectic. It already is hectic around the world. And... All I can say is God bless you all. And thank you for watching today. Thank you for joining Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide. Let's get to earthquakes here. So, most recent earthquake here. 3.2 in Lakeport, California. Most recent. A little bit of action there. All in California. But our biggest story here is the earthquake swarm in New Zealand. And just recently, we had a 6.4 earthquake, New Zealand at a 10 kilometer depth. So the last three days, there's been over 100 earthquakes in New Zealand. 4.9 here, Papua New Guinea, very quiet area, Papua New Guinea, Indonesia right now. 4.2 in Afghanistan yesterday. As well, today, we had a 4.2 in Turkey. So around the world, we're still watching the earthquake swarm in the Dominican and as well, New Zealand. Ring of Fire is very active right now. This is a very busy 24 hours when I'm looking at it. And all I can say is be ready. Be prepared for an unexpected large earthquake because they're happening everywhere now. And throughout New Zealand, I'm sure that this is going to continue as we transition in between Jupiter and Saturn for retrograde with the sun. And once we get to Saturn, that's when things are really going to heat up. Retrograde with Saturn? Stay aware and prepared. And also stay tuned because I will be releasing a video um, looking at our solar system for July. A lot of strange things happening right now on our planet. And there's a lot of factors. Solar cycles is the main. As well as humans. <laughs> we are a plague on this earth. Sad to say. Let's get to our five-day forecast brought to you by Meteor Earth, Meteor Mike, overlooking North America. And strange low-pressure system developing there. And then just kind of settling in the middle of North America. Five-day forecast doesn't show it going anywhere but north. And that means things are going to get pretty cool in Canada. Probably get a snow in parts of Banff and Jasper throughout this weekend as those temperatures are dipping down. Looking in the Pacific, two large high pressure ridges not allowing any moisture to get to our west coast, North America. And then on the west side of the Pacific, looking at this long atmospheric river stretching right from China to the middle of the Pacific Ocean. And I've been talking about this for the last two years on my channel. These atmospheric rivers are going to increase in size and in intensity. Across the Philippines right now, we do have a typhoon forming. Later in the week, it may be downgraded. We will see, but it's been very quiet 
season for Typhoons this year. And looking at all of these monsoon rains across the Indian Ocean and through parts of Myanmar and of course India as well. Hopefully it cool things off because right from Africa to India we're looking at extreme heat conditions. There are literally cars melting to the road in parts of India right now. That's insane. Stay aware and prepared, folks. Drastic changes around our planet. And there's been no Atlantic storms yet either. And that's been a little bit puzzling as well. We had the one downgraded tropical storm that headed into the Gulf of Mexico. Looking at South America, things cooling off on the southern tip of Argentina. And no Pacific storms to talk about. Nothing is really forming, which is good. Which is good. But it just makes me wonder what the end of the season is going to be like. In like a lamb, out like a lion. Large low pressure center heading into Europe. And this heat wave is spreading into Europe as well. So watch for thunderstorm conditions along that line of the low pressure system heading from Spain to the United Kingdom. We're going to look at the Pacific Disaster Center here. All of the latest disasters from around the world. And we're going to start out, of course, in North America, looking at all these flooding conditions, Battle Mountain, Nevada, Williston, Midwestern United States, Southeastern United States, Evansville, Kentucky, as well as southwestern United States. And then we've got a drought in southwestern. And so some states are experiencing droughts and the others are experiencing flooding. And that's due to the intertropical convergence and the change in our jet stream. Forest fires here, Meander River, Alberta, as well as Peace River. Those fires are still going. Uh, it's, they're actually set in... Uh, High level for a possible evacuation again. I'm going to see what happens during the day today here. Because I know in northern Alberta we do have some weather moving in. So hopefully that dampers things down. Helps with the fires. Around the world we're looking at volcanoes. Shevelech just recently erupted. And of course Bihar, India. Extreme heat. And you can see that little thunderstorm cloud. It's going to be some intense thunderstorms throughout that region. And then a drought in Marianne Islands, Micronesia. That's kind of strange. Now this area here is most of the time bombarded by tons of rain, monsoon rains. So around the world we go. Let's just have a look at South America here because we have had some increased volcanic activity all along eastern side of the Ring of Fire. So Fuego went off as well as Raventador and Sabancaya. Three very large volcanoes and Popocatical <laughs> Popo has erupted as well. So stay aware and prepared. Look at all these earthquakes in New Zealand. This could be happening to you. Thanks for watching today. Stay aware and prepared, stay young and have fun, and get your morning due. Thanks for watching. Bye bye. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family across the world.